night, good morning, or whatever time of day this finds you at. Normally we'd practice outside, but it is super gusty, windy outside, and I was kind of scared that my mat would start blowing up or you wouldn't be able to hear me because of the wind. So we're in my office, uh, but this isn't work, so don't you worry. Let's start in child's pose. Toes together, knees nice and wide. I'm going to play around with this new playlist today, but if it's too loud or we don't like it, I'll turn it off. Obviously, I don't know your opinion, but hopefully I'll be able to feel it. So an invitation now to just release everything that's come before this moment. Letting it go. Release anticipation, expectation, projections of what's to come. Let the future wait. It is graciously patient. We zoom into the present moment via the breath. Linking us to this here, this now. And you can take it or leave it, but I invite you to play this moment. Something about childhood, about innocence, that elicits a quality of joy. A joy that spills into other spaces, brightening it up. Our reason, our permission to be joyful. If it doesn't resonate with you, forget I said it and you do your thing. When you're ready, we're going to rise up into down dog. Lift your hips up nice and tall, push the earth away. Start to move and breathe. You can sway your hips. Paddle your heels. Maybe shake your head out a little, wiggle your jaw. Enjoy your vessel, your body. Try not to fix, improve. Just enjoy it. Take three more breaths here. You could be moving or be in stillness. Good. Lift your knees. Find the mat. Keep your toes curled. Arch your back. Look up. Inhale. Straighten your legs. Exhale. Moving meditation. Knees release. Arch your back. Inhale. like that. Knees find the ground. Arch and breath. Down dog, out breath. Two more. Knees find the ground. Arch, glance up. Down dog, exhale. Knees find the mat. Arch your back. Open your heart. Inhale. Ardha Mukha Svanasana, exhale. Lift both heels on the inhale. Stamp them down, exhale. Find the synergy between breath and movement. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Last three, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Give it another breath. Then lift your heels, bend your knees, make your way towards the top of your mat. Feet about hip width. Inhale. Exhale, Uttanasana. Grab opposite elbows. Make a little picture frame for your pretty or handsome face. Relax for a moment. Notice the tendency to rewind or fast forward, come back to here, ground your feet. Notice this breath. Lifting 
your spine to the back, little bend in the knees, roll up, three, two, one, roll your shoulders back and down. Take that a few times. Kind of move through a potpourri of different sun salutes, you know, alternating, playing with style. When you're ready, let your hands find your heart. What makes your heart listen? What makes your cells sparkle? Good. Reach to the sun. Inhale. Fold to the earth. Touch. Exhale. Inhale. Flat back. Exhale. Refold. Step back to plank. Top of a push-up. Just find your symmetry and strength. Inhale. Lower all the way down. Exhale. And curl your toes, inhale. Roll your shoulders back and down, lift your heart. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, down dog, breathe. Five big breaths here. You can always drop to your forearms, kick it up to a handstand, or take rest in Kalasana. Two. And one. Lift your heels, bend your knees, step forward, big toes touch. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Reach all the way up. Inhale. Prayer bend. Exhale. Left foot back. Low runner's lunge. Drop those hips. Look up. Inhale. Right foot back. Exhale. High plank in breath. Knees, chin, chest. Out breath. Bhujangasana, slither, inhale. Ardha Mukha, exhale. Left foot forward, low lunge, glance up. Right foot forward, inhale. Fold, exhale. Chair pose, bend your knees, take a seat, arms rise. Inhale, forward fold, exhale. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step, jump, or float as you move through your vinyasa. Right foot steps forward, angle 45 degrees, Virabhadrasana, one, arms rise, inhale. Exhale, touch the earth, move through your vinyasa, or just hang out and down dog, we'll meet you briefly. Left foot steps forward, angle the right foot, Virabhadrasana, one, in breath, out breath, touch the earth, left foot steps back, Chaturanga Dandasana, inhale, Urdhva Mukha, exhale, Ardha Mukha, three breaths, feel free to close your eyes, especially if they've been open all day, or they will be open all day, our senses need rest, two, One, when you're ready, lift your heels, bend your knees, step forward, big toes touch. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Sit back with your left foot for horse pose, heels in, toes out, deep bend to the knees. Walk your arms out, pour your chest down, your ears are in line with your inner biceps. Your thighs are externally rotating. Three more breaths. a little heavier with your seat. Good. Hands on your shoulders. Straighten your legs. Angle toes in. Heels out. Find an interlace. Inhale. Exhale. Arms up and over. Chin to chest. Relax that neck. Three big breaths. You can slip a post-it note underneath your heels. It would have a sweet message on it. You're ready, hands on your shoulders, walk forward, runner's lunge, Anjali Asan. Left knee down, top of left foot down, arms rise. Urva Drissi can look up a little bit. Sink through that left thigh bone without collapsing your lower back. One more inhale. Exhale, fingers down, runner's lunge, straighten both legs. Walk your fingers out, inhale, and exhale, fold into that right leg. 
Feel that right hip bone hug back, left hip bone rolls forward. Relax your neck. Good, inhale. Exhale, bend your right knee, plant your hands, step back to down dog. Stay right here or bring your elbows down and your shoulders a little wider. Hands come to prayer. Walk your toes together. Just look back towards your toes for dolphin. You have eight breaths here. If you want to look to your wrist, pick up a leg, bring it down, then pick up the other leg, bring it down. You can. Those of you with Pinchamayarasana, you can float your feet up. Careful if you have a fan like I do. So you're stacking your toes over your hips over your shoulders, over your elbows. For whatever you chose, your feet will come down. We'll start to straighten our arms back out into down dog. Take three breaths here. Three. High plank to hold, breathe here. Crown of the head reaching forward, heel bones push back. Thigh bones lift. One more inhale. Exhale, lower all the way down. Uncurl your toes, inhale. Exhale, roll the shoulders, Bhujangasana. Tuck your toes, lift, down dog. Breathe here, three big breaths. Shoulders rolling out. Lovely. Lift your heels, bend your knees, step forward, big toes together. Inhale, flat back. Together we fold, exhale. Right foot steps back, open it up in the horse. Heels in, toes out, lock those fingers out. Pour your heart down. Make sure your knees are over your ankles, your toes are pointing out, your knees are tracking towards your little toe. Good. Hands under shoulders. Straighten your legs. Turn toes in. Heels out. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Prasarita Padatanasana. You can glide your knees into your quads. Inhale. Exhale, pivot forward, runner's lunge. Anjali Asan, right knee down, top of right foot down, arms rise. Shoulders mellow down the back. Inhale. Exhale, hands under shoulders, tuck your right toes, straighten both legs. Walk your hands out and just pour into that left leg like pyramid. Breathe, eyes can be closed. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Bend your left knee. Step back to down dog. Stay in down dog for eight breaths or bring your elbows under your shoulders. There's a proclivity for them to go wider than your shoulders and you'll lose your structure. So directly under your shoulders. Big toes together. You can look towards your toes like a cute little dolphin. You can look towards your wrist, pressing into the form. You can lift one or both legs. If you're comfortable lifting your legs, you can work towards scorpion, which is where you bend your knees, glide your chest forward like you had a flashlight between your cleavage and you want to shine the light forward, bringing the toes towards your noggin. For whatever you chose to do, we're going to meet together as a tribe and down dog. Take your time. Together, we take a deep breath in and we sigh out. Good. Lift the heels, bend the knees, step forward, top of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Root to rise, reach up, inhale. Hands to heart, exhale. Leaf root, keep it add on. Arms rise, inhale. Prayer fold, exhale. We add crow, so knees in the upper arms, bend your elbows, tip forward. Consider lifting one or both feet, 
You really want to ground your pod, your palm, grip your finger pads, your knuckles will pucker up a little. Give it another breath. Then step, jump, and float, move through your vinyasa. We'll meet in down, not the rush. It's nice to take your time. I'm saying that to myself. I feel very vata today. It's so windy outside. There's so much movement. Breathe. Probably should have skipped the coffee. <laughs> Two. Never. <laughs> and one. Lift your heels, bend your knees, step forward, big toes touch. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. This will feel familiar on purpose. Reach up, inhale. Come right back down, exhale. Left leg back, low runner's lunge. Drop those hips, look up, inhale. Right foot back, exhale. High plank, top of a push up. Knees, chin, chest, exhale. Bhujangasana, lift heart, inhale. Ardha Mukha, Svanasana, exhale. Left foot forward, low lunge, look up. Right foot forward, in breath. Hold out breath. Chair pose, bend your knees, take a seat, arms rise. Inhale. Exhale, fold. It's your Namaskar B. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step, jump, or float. Move through your vinyasa. We meet in down dog. Remember, you can always incorporate rest. Right foot steps forward. Spin your left. Here, one. Inhale. Exhale, touch the earth. Right foot back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Do the simply the chest. Exhale, down dog. Left foot forward, spin the right, beer one. Inhale. Exhale, touch the earth, left foot back. Chaturanga Nandasana. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Ardha Mukha Svanasana. Five breaths. You could bring in a handstand, a forearm balance, or child's pose. You're doing your own thing. Let's meet together in down dog for a community breath. Feel connected. Good. Lift your heels, bend your knees, step forward, big toes touch. Inhale, level. Exhale, fold. Left hip steps back. This feels familiar on purpose, my friends. Heels and toes out, horse pose. Walk your fingers out, pour your chest down, close your eyes. Create tons of space around the neck, let the shoulders roll out. Good, inhale. Exhale, hands under shoulders, straighten your legs, turn your toes even. Inhale, level, and exhale, fold. This time, grab your big toes, push hooks. Inhale, level. Exhale, fold, elbows wide, pull your chest through your thighs, look up towards your tailbone. Could have chose other things, but I'm going with tailbone. Look up. Good. Inhale. Exhale, free your hands, walk forward, runner's lunge. Anjali Asana, left knee down, top of foot down. This way, time right fingertips to right, sway your left arm up and over, let that feel good. Breathe into your left side body. Keep rolling your left shoulder back. Inhale. Exhale, round the chest and belly forward. Runner's lunge, straighten both legs. You can stay or walk your hands to the right. As you look towards your right tricep, imagine you're going to rest your left shin on your right thigh bone. Feel that right hip hugging back. Keep breathing. What can you relax? Something for sure. Good. Walk it back out. Runner's lunge to down dog. Just like before, you can stay in down dog or bring your elbows down. You might try this time keeping your hands flat so your thumbs are closed. Fingers kind of wing out. Grip your fingers. Walk your toes in. To relax your neck, you just want to look towards your toes. 
to work on forearm balance, you're going to look towards your thumbs or wrists, lifting one leg, then change the other leg. So you kind of just alternate. You can take child's pose to rest. If you're working on kick up, you might go ahead and move towards a wall as you kick your feet up into the wall. At first, your legs aren't going to want to go up. There's a little bit of fear, which is normal. Imagine kicking through the wall instead of to the wall, and then you'll probably touch it. For whatever you chose to do, take a few more breaths, and then let's coalesce and down dog together. We're meeting in downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Sigh out. Good. Lift your heels, bend your knees, step forward, big toes kissing. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Step back with your right foot. We're coming into horse, so deepen those thighs. Heels in, toes out, knees over ankles. Walk your fingers out, pour your chest down, close your eyes. Enjoy yourself. Do you know the word enjoy apparently comes from to be in a state of joy is to enjoy? So choose the state. Give it another breath. Exhale, hands under shoulders, straighten your legs, angle your toes and heels out. This time, find the interlace at your lower back, inhale, and on your exhale, rinse out those shoulders, tuck your chin to your chest, look up towards the ceiling from the back side of your legs, breathe three large breaths. Feels are feather light, but we're rooted through the balls of the feet. Good, inhale. Exhale, hands come down, walk towards your left foot. Low runners lunge. Anjali Asan, right knee down, top of the foot down. But this time, left fingertips crawl to the left. Reach the right arm up and over. You can even feel your skin stretch, especially if it feels a little dry. Good. One more big inhale. Exhale, round your chest and belly forward. Runners lunge to straighten your legs. You can pour down or walk your hands to the left. Come to your fingertips. Look back towards your left arm. Rest your right cheek on that left shin. So you're getting more into that left hip glute attachment, into your IT. You can wiggle around, make micro adjustments for yourself. Good. When you're ready, we walk forward, runners lunge to down dog. This is our last dolphin pose here, so you can stay in your down dog, rest in child's pose. There's nothing wrong with that. It can be very smart, in fact. If I were smart, I would do it. So elbows under shoulders, hands in prayer. Or it might be better to press your palms firm and grip your finger pads. Now notice if your elbows went wider than your shoulders, you lost your structure. So bring the elbows in close, even though it feels so odd. Press into your forearm flesh so that you're not collapsing in your shoulders. Push, push, push. So there's a 90 degree angle from your shoulders to your elbows to your wrists. Then you can lift a leg and change to lift the other. So you're activating that glue. Keep the structure of your forearms. You might start to add these little hops. You could hug the down leg into the thigh like I sometimes say to do in your handstand. You could send both legs up. If you have it, you can bend your knees and bring your toes towards your head, chest pulls through. For whatever you choose to do, we're coming in down dog together in about three breaths. So take your time to get there and let all that go. We're in down dog together, deep breath in. Let go. Lift your heels, bend your knees, step to the top of your mat, feet hip width, inhale, flat back, exhale, fold. Come to your fingers, heels in, toes out, spine and squat, look up, inhale, forward fold, parallel, exhale. Two more with breath. Good. 
Alright, give it an extra breath here. Then plant your hands, step back to plank with your big toes together. Curl to the blade of your left foot, reach your right arm high for Vasti Sasana. If it's too much, bring your right foot in front as you takes the pressure off. If you want more, yogi curl up. So grab the right big toe, now press your left big toe down. Send the right leg back. Maybe start to look towards the lifted leg. For whatever you choose, give it another breath. We're meeting in rock star. Ball the right foot behind you. Right knee bends. Left leg straight. Open your heart. Lie back. Can you close your eyes? You might not roll your chest up as much if your left shoulder hurts. You can stay more in a side plank. One more inhale. Exhale, right hand under right shoulder, right leg lifts, you're in dog sweat. Inhale. Exhale, meet in low, shift, squeeze. Right leg lifts, inhale. Knee to nose, shift, squeeze, exhale. One more, right leg lifts, inhale. Knee to nose, squeeze. Here, the drop to the three, right foot steps between your hands. Activate through your legs and core. Body will look like a letter T. You can always micro bend your supporting knee. I need to do that on this side. Give it another inhale. Exhale, needle. Fingers down, left toes tall, full. Option to stay or left fingertips walk out. You can bend your left knee and right hand grabs the top of the left foot from the outside of your leg. Point the knee up for quad stretch. If you want standing compass, you can bend your right knee, right hand, right calf muscle. So you're tucking your right shoulder to the inner right thigh. Then your right hand grabs the left big toe, and then you straighten your right leg, pointing the left knee up. You can ignore all of that and be a needle, which is just as good. And when you're ready, hands down, left leg tall, you're in standing needle, inhale. Exhale, runner's lunge, send that right leg tall. Inhale, exhale, right knee, left shoulder, thread it through, fall in triangle. Spin your right hand to the right, left heel forward, open it up and lie back. And just breathe here. Good, inhale. Exhale, left hand under left shoulder, thumbs face each other, right leg lifts tall. Inhale. Exhale, step your right foot forward, skin off to the left. So left knee bends, right leg straight. Crawl your left fingertips out on the angle, reach your right arm high. Open up through your wings. You could stay here, bind. Left hand threads to grab your right wrist, so fingers. Spin that right shoulder up, open the heart. Find what works for you. There are no rules. Your body a little different, day is different, who knows? Come back to your breath, are you here? Good, open up your wings and skin up to the end. Exhale, we crawl into half moon. So start to ninja crawl forward, right thumb in line with right little toe, peel left hip and left chest open, spread fingers. Option to stay or bend your left knee. Left hand grabs the top of the foot for Chakrasana. Angel wings are clipping together. Eyes are steady and sweet. You're looking at your favorite flower. Open it back up. Ardha Chandrasana. Inhale. Exhale. Square off and land. Runner's lunge. Left hand down, right arm high, roll to the pinky edges of both feet so you drop that left hip. Reach back towards your left foot and just kind of rock forward and back and get into that glute area. Good. Spin it all the way around to Prasarita. Toes angle in, hands under shoulders, come down. You can stay eight breaths or bend your knees, hands under shoulders. You want the crown of your head forward of your hands, not in the same line as your hand. Then you can think crow pose as you bring one knee to the tricep, other knee to the tricep. So you have two hands and your head on the ground. That's pretty solid. If you want more, you can hug your thighs into your ribs. 
Maybe take your legs up for Shirasasana or straddle the legs so it's like you're floating the same posture as when your feet were on the ground. For whatever you chose, think about how you might want to bring your feet back down. We're all going to meet together. Inhale, level. Exhale, fold. Walk it forward. Take your vinyasa. Customize along the way if you feel inspired. Your shoulders are feeling it. You could do knees, chin, chest. We'll knee then down the arm. Deep breath in. Let go. Good. Knees come down. Ustrasana. Take your time to roll up. You can fix your clothing as I tend to do. Roll your shoulders. Tense to lower back. Enjoy yourself. Find the levity, that energetic lightness bursting from the heart. Well, spring of ease coming from you, washing into you. Your body is this peaceful intersection from your inner world to the outer world. Let yourself feel comfortable in your skin. You have another moment here. When that feels complete for you, we'll meet together in child's pose. Take your time, pour your heart down. Breathe into your kidney space, kind of flush out any toxins that may be residing there. And let your breath hug around the adrenal gland. Another breath. We'll meet in down dog. Take your time. Find your home. Let it feel like home truly. Three breaths. Good. When you're ready, lift your heels, bend your knees, step forward, big toes touch. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Reach all the way up, inhale, prayer fold, exhale. Please don't jump, just step back to plank. We're new to Vasti Sasana, big toes together, right hand and the right shoulder, left arm high. Remember you can modify with the ball of the left foot in front, or yogi toe lock your left big toe and press that heel up. Three. If you're doing something embellishing with your left leg, really press your right big toe down so you still have contact. Rockstar, a wild thing, ball the left foot behind you, back knee bends, open your heart. If your right shoulder is achy, keep it more like a side plank with your chest to the right versus up. Good, inhale. Exhale, left hand in your left shoulder, left leg lifts tall, dog split, in breath. Out breath, knee to nose, shift, squeeze. Left leg lifts, inhale. Knee to nose, squeeze. Again, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Left foot's coming in between the hands. You're building from the ground up for warrior three. Remember, you can always bend your base knee. Think of your sacrum being flush to the ceiling. So sometimes placing in your hands on your hips to square them off can help. Another inhale. Exhale, needle. Fingers down, left leg tall. You could keep it classical or bend your right knee. Left hand can grab the top of the foot as you point your knee up. Or walk your right fingertips off to the right. Bring your left hand to your left calf muscle from the inside. Your shoulder tucks to the inner left thigh. Then it's super pressing that you wing your left hand towards your right foot, point your right knee up, and look. If that doesn't interest you, you are the normal one. Do not worry. When you're ready, we come back to needle. We're meeting as a tribe. Inhale. Exhale, runner's lunge. As you bend your right knee, we come into skindasana. So right knee over right ankle, left heel is down. You could stay here or wing your right shoulder to the inner thigh, right arm down and left arm high. 
option to stay or bind. You're going to bend your right elbow to thread your right hand to your lower back. Search for your left fingertip service and extend that left chest open. your eyes, enjoy. Good. Open it back up. Inhale. Exhale, ninja crawl forward. It's half moon. Left thumb in line with left little toe. Peel right hip and right chest open. Spread out. Stay right here. Bend your right knee. Right hand's going to reach back to the blade of the foot. It's chakrasana. So you want to think of squeezing your shoulder blades together. Keep rolling your chest and pelvis to the right. The eyes steady on the ground will help you. Half moon. Inhale. Exhale, square off and land. Runners lunge. Straighten both legs. Walk to the right. Cross every back. Toes angle in. You could walk your fingertips through the legs. Bend your elbows. Pull your chest through. If you're comfortable in a headstand, you can actually do it from here. I have to take my legs wider so I can bring my head down. Grip your fingers into the mat. Then you use your inner thighs to float your legs up. You could also do the one we did before. Or you can stay in prasarita. The nice thing about yoga postures is that one pose is never better than a different pose. They're just offering you different things. Some people like turmeric, some people like ginger, some people like both. One is not better, they're just offering different properties. I'm looking at an Ayurveda book behind me, so of course I had to talk about turmeric. <laughs> Land your feet, inhale, level spine. Exhale, fold. We all meet together, walk forward, runner's lunge. Take it through your vinyasa. No rush. I'm doing knees, chin, chest. If my shoulders feel tired, you can do what you want to do. Deep breath in. Let go. Now we do Ustrasana on our bellies, which is bow pose. So shift forward. Take your time to lower down for five, four, three, two, one, bend your knees, reach back to the tops of your feet, inhale, exhale, lift your thighs, lift your chest, maybe look up. Try not to look around or at your screen here, trust yourself to just look up. One more big inhale, exhale, lower down, legs long, press your palms, inhale, exhale, roll the shoulders, lift your heart. Tuck your toes, lift your heads down, dog. We have to add in fallen triangle because I forgot it. I'm so sorry. Thank you for forgiving me. Left leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, left knee, right shoulder. Thread that left leg through and open it up. Ah, aren't you glad we're doing this? Three. Good, another inhale. Exhale, right hand down, step it back, down dog. Deep breath in. Let go. Lift your heels, tippy toe, walk your toes towards your wrists. Land your heels at the top. Fingertips down, heels and toes out. Look up, inhale. Full exhale. Heels and toes out, look up, inhale. Full exhale. One more, inhale. Full exhale. Option to stay five breaths or add in crow if you're feeling feisty. If you're in crow and you're comfortable, you can play with crisscrossing the ankle, right over left, do little switcheroos. For whatever you choose, we may pass in a forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Together, we fold. Step back to down dog. Right leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, right foot lands between the hands. Spin your left foot. We are in a one. Pull that right hip back. Arms forward, right arm over left for Gandharasana arms. Another breath. 
here, exhale, tip forward in combo warrior, little finger taps the mat. Another inhale. Exhale, root to rise, warrior one. Take your arms out wide, find the inner lace, knuckles down, inhale. Exhale, humble, pour right shoulder to inner thigh. We move into top knee tree, you weigh in the right foot as you step your left leg in, lift the left leg up. Stand the needle, fingers find the ground. This time, baby hopper as you bend your left knee, right hand grabs a little edge of your left foot. Then you're going to bend your left elbow as you tuck your left thigh behind the right. Extend your leg out and look towards the extended leg. So many words. Almost feels anticlimactic for that amount of words. <laughs> when you're ready, come back to needle. Take your time. Inhale. Exhale, runner's lunge. Straighten both legs. We walk towards the right, right arm down, left arm hopping. Cross the Rita with a little twist. Big inhale. Exhale, left arm down, walk forward, runner's lunge. Right in the core plank, round your back, bring your right knee towards your nose. Hold eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Send that right leg tall. Right ankle over left thigh. Legs look like a little number four. Press your right shin into your left femur. Hmm. With your legs, walk your hands back towards your base foot as you fold in. Toe balance here as you come to your fingertips, bend your left knee. Bring your left heel to your perineum, that's the gap between your legs. Bring your hands to frame your hips, stand up tall, flex your right foot. Keep your eyes steady at one spot, play with bringing one or both hands to your heart. It's normal to feel very wobbly. When you've had enough of this, bring your hands down, come back into that figure four, fold. Walk your hands back out, keep the figure four just for a moment here. Then float your right shin in line with your triceps, shift forward and fold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Spin your left foot flat, left hand grabs blade of right foot, Right leg goes forward, Vishnu Matrasan. Keep grounding into your right heel, lift that right hip. Another breath. It's pigeon pose. Right shin in line with the short edge of your mat. Take your time to set up, let up tall, inhale. Exhale, come on down, close your eyes. Let yourself slip into relaxation. Let your muscles drip off your bones. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. I'll guide you back. Good. When you're ready, you can start to come up. We're going to take a twist. So hug your right shin in, tip right. Bring your left foot around. Sit up nice and tall. Left fingertips behind you. Right arm tall. Inhale. Exhale. Hook that right arm around. Inhale. Lengthen. And exhale. Twist. So you could stay right here or we'll move into Fallen Angel. So hands come down, you tuck your right toes, left elbow pulls into its left hip, bring your left temple down. Remember you can ignore me, we're going to meet in a twist. Right leg lifts and left foot comes towards the inner thigh. If that's what you chose to do, reverse out of it, right thigh behind the left, we meet our friends. Twist. Big inhale. Exhale, come forward, Gomukhasana. Right leg on the bottom, left on the top. 
And then if your hips and knees are okay, you can bend both knees or even kick your shins out. Then right arm high. Bend your right elbow. Left hand's going to grab the right elbow. As you point your elbow up, bring your right hand between your shoulder blades like you're tucking your tag in. Stay there. Left arm can loop. You can grab your ponytail, your shirt, or your finger. You can sit up tall or hinge and bow forward. Give yourself time. If you have the arms, free them and just melt your shoulders. Rest your chest on your layer leg. Stay low, walk your left fingertips to the left, round that right hip, reach the right arm a little over, sway. Another inhale. Your exhale, slowly come up, lean into your hands, lift your feet, cross your ankles, plant your hands, take your vinyasa. We'll meet in down. Together, we take a deep breath in. We sigh out. Come over your table, so bend your knees. Knees right under hips, shins floating. Puffy through the shoulder blades, crown of the head forward. Ten. You get to listen to the small world while we do this. Round five. Two. One, knees down, tops of feet down, roll up for your second camel pose. Take your time to set up, roll the shoulders, find neutrality. Start from ease, decide how that feels. Bring hands to the lower back, take your time to come in, enjoy. And press your thigh bones forward. Complete for you. Come into child's pose. Relax down. Close your eyes. Be right here. Good. Down dog, when you're ready, come home. Three breaths. Enjoy. Big toes together, left leg lifts, and exhale, left foot stands between the hands, spin your right, your Vajrasana one. Try to square your hips by pointing that right hip bone forward, left arm over right, eagle arms, breathe right here. Stay up tall or hinge, bring your little finger down, drop your forehead towards your wrist. your legs strong, root to rise, come back up, free your arms, find the inner lace, put the other pinky on top, knuckles down, chest up, inhale, exhale, humble, tip forward, three, your shoulders relax, you can look towards your right hip, we're moving into humble or top wing tree, weight into the left foot, you're going to lift your right leg, if it's too much, come to needle, because that's where we're going to be in a moment. If you're not in the needle, hands down, right leg tall, standing split. As you bend your right knee, keep your right hand under your shoulder. Left hand grabs a little toe of your right foot. Point your knee up for the quad stretch. Or start to take your right arm into Chaturanga. Thread your right thigh behind the left. You're looking towards your right leg. If you did that, come back to needle. That's where we're meeting. Stretch it out. Nice big inhale. Exhale, runner's lunge. Right hand under right shoulder, left arm high. Then spin to, the, spin to the blades of both feet. Reach your left hand towards your right leg. And just kind of rock a little forward and back to get in that hip. Good. When you're ready, loop it all the way around to a wide-legged stretch. Toes and go in. Left hand under your nose, right arm high. Maybe close your eyes, breathe. Good, 
Inhale. Exhale, right hand down, walk forward, runner's lunge. Round your back like a cat, pull your left knee towards your nose. Breathe, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Left leg lifts tall, stretch it out. Left ankle over right thigh, so your legs are gonna look like a funny number four. Flex the left foot, brush the left shin into your right thigh. Push that mat away, breathe. Good. Travel your hands towards your right foot so you're at the back of your mat in kind of a figure four fold. Then start to come onto your fingertips, lift your right heel. Bring your right heel towards your space between your two booty cheeks. <laughs> what kind of way? What euphemism can I have for that? Fingertips alongside your hips. Flex your left foot. Steady your eyes. Stay right here or play with bringing a hand or two to your heart. Toe balance. That feels like a full moon with how wobbly. When you've had enough of it, no worries. Bring your hands down. Come back to that figure four fold. This time, walk your arms out. Figure four dog, breathe. You're going to use lots of core as you shift forward and pull that shin to align with your elbow. Then right foot goes flat, right hand goes up. So your right hand grabs blade of left foot and then left heel kicks forward. Vijnimatrasana. Really push into your left hand and ground through the blade of your right foot. For whatever you chose, good news is here, it's pigeon. So take your time, left shin and line is short edge of the mat, right leg long. Lift up through the chest and then just fold in. Maybe close your eyes. If you want king pigeon or pigeon on your back, you have time, this is your practice. Come on. Something fancy, something different, good. Take your time to meet us. Let's start to crawl up. Now have this left shin and lean left. Bring the right leg around. Arda Matsandrasan. Then make sure you're not sitting on that left heel. Right fingertips behind you, left arm high, inhale. Exhale, hook your left elbow outside your right femur. Draw the breath like you're sucking up a straw from tailbone to crown, inhale. Twist, exhale. You can look over right shoulder. And you can stay or fall in angel. It's kind of a funny way to get into it, but you plant your hands, lift your hips, tuck your left toes. Now pull your right elbow into your right hip. Bring your right temple or side of the face down. Left leg lift. Right foot to inner left thigh. Your right shoulder dips down. If you chose to do that, come back. We need our friends in the twist. Inhale. Exhale, unwind. Go Hukasana, left leg long, right knee over left. You can stay or bend both knees. If your hips and knees are okay, you can kick your shins out. So ground through your hips, left arm tall. Bend your left elbow, right hand uses on that left elbow to point it up. Left hand in between your shoulder blades, like you're just tickling the back of your heart. You can stay or thread your right arm behind. Search for your fingers. Breathe. Inhale and exhale. Full. If it's too much already for your hands, otherwise take a couple breaths with your hands here. Breathe the hands eventually just melt down like our efforts with the Below, you walk your right fingertips to the right, round that left hip and glute, left arm up and over. Good, inhale. Feel roots arise, lean into your hands, hammock pose, lift those feet, 
cross your ankles, plant your hands, move through your vinyasa, slow and sweet, we'll meet in down dog together. Deep breath in. Deep breath in. Lift your heels, bend your knees, step forward, top of the mat. Big toes touch and heel level. Exhale, fold. Stay low, left foot steps back into shorter stance, left foot is 45 degrees. Bend your right knee, hands to the hips, come all the way up. We're setting up for classical pyramid. Grab opposite elbows, prayer, or reverse namaste. Square your chest, lift heart, inhale. Exhale, hinge flat back. Start to pour down over that right leg. You're engaging the muscles of the legs because you don't have your hands on the earth unless you need them. Good. Another inhale. Exhale, hands come down. Left foot next step to the left to revolve your triangle. Left hand on either side of your right foot. Pull the right hip back. Stretch the right arm up. Imagine you're pressing your right hand into a wall. Let the twist come from your navel and ribs. Relax the neck. One more big inhale. Exhale, right hand down. Spin your left toes forward, pull over your right leg. Or plant your hands over your shoulders, right toes under right hip, left leg lift. Start to hop. As you start to send your right heel to the wall behind you, left heel to the side, like you're making an L shape, or you can attach your legs together, flexing your feet up towards the sky for a handstand. If you're near a wall, you could kick into the wall. When you're ready, we're coming back. Oops. <laughs> trying to say it on you. <laughs> when you're ready, we're going to be back in our pyramid pose. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold over that right leg. Three big breaths here. Enjoy it. Good. Runners lunge to form. Big toes together. Elbows down. So you can stay in regular form. Plank over to the knee to the side. Left forearm on the angle. Curl to the blade of your left foot. Right arm is tall. Lift your right leg up and reach your right arm forward. If this is too much, bring the ball to right foot in front. Otherwise, inhale. Exhale, right elbow, right knee. Curl into your belly. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curl. Last two. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curl. Last time, lengthen. Exhale, curl. Lengthen out and hold. Five, four, three. Two, one, you meet in forearm plank, full, five, four, three, two, one, relax down. We're coming to a twist, so come in the stings, bring your right foot to your inner left thigh like tree pose, thread your left arm under, roll your shoulder blade to the ground, right arm will reach right, look right, and place your left hand on your right thigh. Relax here, three big breaths. Feel the back of your right lung still down. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Right at night. Sweet, sweet, long. Go back into your belly. Take your vinyasa. Meet and down dog together, no rush, enjoy, deep breath in, let go, good, brighten your heels, bend your knees, step forward, top of the mat, big toes touch, inhale level, Uttanasana, fold, reach up tall, inhale, hands to heart, exhale, Hands to your hips, step back with your right foot. It's kind of a short stance, so right toes angle out, hips can square. Grab opposite elbows, 
prayer or reverse namaste. Lift your heart, inhale, exhale, hinge. Think of someone sliding your hips back, mountains forward, and then drape your spine over your left leg. If you need to bring your hands down, there's no crime in yoga, there's no crime in tools. You're such a benefit and blessing and listening to what you need. If your hands need to come down, a kuna batata, bring them down for God's sake. I just brought them down it felt good <laughs> when you're ready you can walk your right foot a little to the right right hand on either side of that left foot pull the left hip back left toe tall hover reach that tripping so you're rotating that triangle posture notice if your left hip is swaying way left can you guide it back another inhale Exhale, left hand down, spin the right toes forward, bow over the left leg. You could stay, I'll try not to amputate my fan from the wall again. When you're ready, hands can come down, follow the left foot under your left hip, right leg like up. You start to do these little hops. What you're trying to do is grip your fingers into the ground, keep your eyes steady, and stack your hips over your shoulders, which are over your wrist. So I know teachers say it a lot, and it kind of takes a moment to get it into the body, and then it clicks. And the moment you're doing it, then you're like, oh my god, that's what you've been saying. So at first, you might just do baby little hops. Left foot barely leaves the ground, weight in the hand. Left foot barely leaves the ground, weight in the hand. And you've had enough of that. We meet together, walk the hands forward, bow down, close your eyes. What can you relax? What can you let go of? We're in the home stretch, figuratively and in reality. <laughs> when you're ready, come back to runner's lunge, big toes together, bring your elbows down. So you could be in forearm plank this whole time or even knees down in forearm plank. If you wanna move on, the right forearm in the angle, curl the blade of the right foot, left arm high and then over high. Now bring the left foot in front if you're feeling tension. Float the left leg up if you need more inhale. Exhale, elbow to knee towards your belly button. Inhale, lengthen, keep pushing into the right forearm. Exhale, squeeze, three more. One more. And forearm side plank. We meet all of our friends in forearm plank together. This is it, hold, five, four, three, two, one, come to Sphinx Pose, and we add that nice little twist. So bring your left foot to the inner right thigh, then thread your right arm under, roll onto your back, reach your left arm to the left, left cheek down. And place your right hand on your left thigh, assist yourself in relaxing. I'm here to relax now. I'm here to relax now. I'm here to relax. Another sweet inspiration. Exhale, come back to your belly. Set up your last vinyasa of our practice. Take your time. We'll meet in down dog. Together, deep breath in. Try out. Into frog plank, so knees come down. You don't have carpet under you. Take the long length of your mat. Take your knees nice and wide. When you look back, you want your knees, shins, heels in a row with your toes turned out. You might be on your palms or move to your forearms. You might rock back and forth a little. Find your sweet spot. I'm going to turn on more relaxing music. And you can just let yourself sink towards the earth. Eight big breaths, we'll listen to Nora Jones. Relax. Three 
lower breath, soften. Back out, relax. your time to come out as you start to climb up. Start to bring your toes together, slip your knees together, close those hips, move into hero. So knees touch together, heels nice and wide. Use your hands to move your calves aside, sit down. You can dig your knuckles into the arches of your feet like you're giving yourself kind of reflexology. If this is too much, you can always just come to kneeling directly on your knees. Otherwise, left hand on the bottom, right on top, thumbs touch. Let's meditate here. Three. Stay right here. And then you open the eyes, bring your hands a little forward to free the legs, slip them off. We're coming down onto our backs, roll back, happy baby. Rock a little side to side. If you need blankets, pillows, whatever you might need so you can slip into rest. And I'd invite you to turn this rest into an extended shavasana in the space that you're in. Maybe then let yourself drift off. And you'll come back when you're ready. Seal together with knees into chest. Squeeze love on yourself. Three. Love to your own self. Feel echoes of that reverb into your home, your community. Feel. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Come to rest. Let yourself float. Imagine you're floating on a beautiful body of water. A drop of oil just spread. 